Welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. I'm having way too much fun playing, so let's just get straight into it. In the last episode, this guy here, Mr. Bozy, was about to tell us what befell Balan's company in the Chamber of Mazarbul. So let's see what he has to tell me. This is going to be a session play quest. The final moments of Balan's expedition, lost many years ago in Moria. Alas, that Balin, son of Fundin, believed he could reclaim Moria but with a small force. As the Company of the Ring learned, the number of the Orcs and the might of Durin's bane could not easily be turned aside. Quite an epic area here. Let's go. Captain Ori, you have arrived at last. I feared we, we, we would be overwhelmed before you arrived, but with your strength, we may yet push back the Orcs. Oh, that Balin were still alive. We have need of his leadership against this horde of orcs. We must move with one mind, or we will not survive the fall of evening. I was cut off from Loni and Nali during the last attack. We must join them on the far side of the bridge, but many orcs have crawled up from the pit and stand between here and there. We must defeat them before yet more arrive. Ori, this way, we will soon rejoin Loni and Nali on the far side of the bridge. And this dwarf is pretty strong. Lots of damage. Bridge of Khaza Doom, as you may notice. Whoa, sweet! I need to knock a orc off the bridge. There they are. Loni and Nolly. There they are, Loni, Nolly. At last, take that. Were we wrong to come back to Khazad Doom, Captain? With Balan slain, this endeavor seems ready to fall. The orcs are too many. No, no, we will stand. I will die a dwarf. Let none call Loni coward. Things are not well, Captain. There is no end to the creatures. For every orc we cleave, two more spring from the darkness. Still, we are the dwarves of Khazad Doom. We will not let these orcs drive us from the halls in which we have lived for many years. For years, too few. Sorry. We are decided then. One last glorious stand against the orcs. I weep that none will sing of it, Captain Ori. But I am glad that I have such honorable and dependable dwarves by my side for this making. For Balin, for Khazad Doom, and for the glory of the dwarves. Make your stand against the orcs, worthy of song. We will slay many orcs before we die, my friends. So here they come from all sides. I might try to go fight some of their ranged units. Fight some orcs here. It's getting kind of crowded over here. I'm try to come give some backup from the left. Ah, 
Nice. Let's blast all those dudes away. Let's see if I can come over here and deal with some of these archers. And Farrar is not doing too well. They come from the main passage. We are getting overwhelmed here for sure. Let me blast these orcs away. Grab this one. Look to the right. So what is this? Power regen and 15 melee damage. Why wasn't I wearing this the whole time? That's the question. Oh, it consumes fervor. That's why. So I have to constantly keep my fervor up. Shouldn't be a problem when we have so many enemies to fight. Situation's getting a little dire here. Alright, let me see about fighting these guys off real quick. Excellent. Killing this guy here. We are turning the tide against them. Forward, forward. Alright, so I'm doing okay. My health has regened. So that is good news. AoE attacks here, which is nice. Oh, I didn't mean to use that attack. But oh, whatever. Too late now. Let's keep pushing forward. Nice. Looks like we have a war captain. Let's go, guys. Separate them. I do not like this, Captain. Some shadow lies ahead. See how my hands tremble, and I have never quailed before any foe. A great evil waits down this passage. Worse than all the evils we have seen this day. I, I do not think we can face this thing. We must retreat. We must fall back. We must escape across the bridge. Retreat, go! Hold, Captain. Something is not right here. I will guard your retreat. Go! I will slow them down. Get out of here. So that is Durin's Bane. 
And some freaking trolls as well. So, let me get out of here. And I don't hear good things behind me. I'm just gonna run for my life. That guy did not think twice about running. Oh, and there's some orcs ahead. I should have stayed with my friend here. That's alright, I can clear this quickly. Really, that missed? Come on now. Excellent. Looks like we're still making good distance on the enemies here. Let's retreat across the bridge of Khazad Doom. So epic. And we have a dwarf here, Philly. Quickly, bring Captain Ori back to the 21st hall. We have to get you out of here, Captain Ori. We must retreat to the 21st hall and hope that we can hold them off there. I was not certain you would still be alive, Captain Ori, but I rejoice to see you so. I wanted you here for our last defense. We are still waiting for word from the scouts you sent west, but so far there has been nothing. And now the orcs have taken the bridge and the second hall, and close in on our position from all sides. We are certain to follow, Frar and Loni and Nali. My captain, even if we hold out for a little while. Hark, who is that? Is that one of the scouts? It is. He has returned from the West Gate. My captain, I bring sad news. The pool has come all the way up to the wall at the West Gate. There is no hope of escape that way. Noble Owen's mission has ended and in failure. In surprise, he was taken by the Watcher in the water, and the weapon he bore availed him not. The surrounding halls are filling with orcs, Captain. It was all I could do to make it back here. But it has been for nothing. What can we do now? It is hopeless. There must be something we can do, right, Captain? Lagging a little bit. What can we do, Captain? We have no hope of standing against them here in the hall. They will overwhelm us with their vast numbers. Thilly listens to your plan and his face hardens. His eyes stern and bright. You're right, Captain. We will retreat to the chamber of Mazarbu and make what stand we may. There we may last long enough to make them feel the sting of our axes and hearken our battle cries. To the chamber of Mazarbu. That is where we will make our stand. Look how clean it looks in here. Captain Ori, I would have a word with you while we bar the doors and prepare. Now that it comes down to it, Captain, I grieve that our return to Moria has been so brief and so full of sorrow. Was Balin wrong to lead us here and to expect that whatever curse lay upon these halls had been lifted? It is too late to ask such things, but I would not have this hopeful journey come to such an end, to be forgotten forever, to come to nothing. Captain Ori, I beg you, finish writing our account in the book, where such things are recorded. There it is, on the tomb we erected for Lord Balin. It was begun by others, but I would have you finish it. I do not want our fate to be forgotten. Finish the book of Mazarbul, Captain Ori. I would not have us forgotten. So now you can see some tie-in to the Lord of the Rings events that are both in the books and the movies. Again, this is the book from which Gandalf reads from in the Fellowship of the Ring. About this last account.
Death to the orcs. We are out of time. See if I can make a good last stand here. Let me try to rescue this dwarf from certain doom. There we go. Let me grab this one. There are more coming. Getting shot up with arrows here, man. Golly. I'll let them deal with the archers since they have less health. Did I already lose? I already lost a ton of dwarves. That's not good. A lot of them have already died. Are they all dead? Am I the last man alive? You stubborn maggot beard. But I, Mazog, will send you back to your maker. All right, here we go. They blast him. Let me actually work on killing some of these other ones first. There we go. Excellent. Now I can work on Mazog himself. Doing a ridiculous amount of damage on him. Lagging a little bit. To me, my allies, slay the swarm, and you will be rewarded. This place is mine. My armies are limitless. This is not good. And there is trolls, of course, which is not good. Looks like I completed the instance. We cannot get out. And it's dark, but... Yeah, I guess it just ends. Not much hope of doing anything. Alright, so done here with that. What do I got here? An expired auction. Let's do that real quick. Alright. I do not know if things will be different this time. We must prepare for the storm. If there is hope to be found in the leaves of Mazarbul Kippen, I could not see it. If we are to survive where Balin Dwarves did not, we will need to prepare for the coming storm. It may not be possible, but we will at least make a stand. And let's see what these are. These are tier three, so I don't really care which one. The company of Balin, son of Fundi, came to a foul end in the dark halls of Moria. Durin's bane is gone, but many orcs still dwell within those halls. Can the returning dwarves maintain their hold? The orcs prepare for war, and the dwarves must do the same. We must make the Chamber of the Crossroads ready for war. Right. We must make the Chamber of the Crossroads ready for war. So this is Book 4, Chapter 1. I fear that we will meet the same fate as Balin's expedition if we do not prepare for battle, Kippen. If Ashpar is to be believed, the vengeance of Mazog, his host, may be swift. We cannot rest until we are prepared for the worst. We must be ready to meet this onslaught, and if we are lucky, we will not be doomed as Balin was, whose road was yet unknown to him. 
my dwarves, Slothy, Sigdon, and Thalfly, here in the Chamber of the Crossroads must be told the situation. You should do anything they ask to help them prepare for the coming storm. The Great Delving, at least, will be ready. Alright, so let me help some of the dwarves here. If we are to find Mithra and Khazadun, we will first have to deal with the orcs. I do not like that well. I looked down it and couldn't see the bottom. But I'm pretty sure there's water down there. It makes me nervous. What if the orcs find the bottom of the well and try climbing up? They could use it to get into this room without the sentries noticing. I don't need to tell you what a disaster that would be. I'd feel better if you could find the bottom of the well and make sure there's no way for the orcs to climb up into this chamber. Melmar went looking for it, but I never heard back from him. I don't know how you'll get to the bottom safely, but you should find a way down to the waterworks and then look for Narag Kileb, the bottom of the well. I expect you will find it southeast of the mighty aqueduct in the depths. Don't jump down the well itself though, unless you think you could fall for the uncounted fathoms of the land alive on your feet. I already know from experience that I could not survive that fall, so I'm not going to be making that mistake again. We have seen naught of Durin's Bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. Do you think we will be ready in time by the time the orcs attack us? I do not know if we will. If the orcs knew how vulnerable we are now, they would not delay. They would attack us within the very hour. My cousin Spore has taken it upon himself to scout the approaches to the Chamber of the Crossroads. If the orcs have any plans to attack soon, he will see the signs and can warn us in time. Please go help him on his patrol. I am anxious for Spore and have some assistance. I am anxious for Spore to have some assistance, should any unsavory foe meander across his path. And finally, there's a third dwarf here that I can assist. Perhaps soon we will toast our victory against the Orcs of Moria! Bozy has tried to keep it quiet, but rumor travels quickly in the passages of Moria. Most of us are now aware of Balan's end. They were surrounded. Orcs from the east and below. How terrible creature in the pool by the Holland Gate. We cannot afford to... We cannot afford for that to happen again, Kippen. But if it does, it is my responsibility to make sure that we have enough supplies to withstand a long siege. I want you to leave Moria and speak with Thorgnir just outside the doors of Durin. Tell him to send as much food as he has to spare and to arrange for more on a regular schedule. We will not be put to the same dire place as Balan's company. I would see us avenge them so that they may then rest a long peace beneath the stones. Alright, excellent. So let me take this quest out. And so he's outside the doors of Durin. He is outside the chamber of the crossroads. And then I have to find the bottom of the well here. So let me begin right outside here. And again, we're trying to reconstruct the statue for pieces we find around. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. If you are keen of eye and strong of arm, I would welcome your company on my patrol, Kippen. Let us scout for any sneaking orcs that might think to gain some advantage by spying on approaches to the Chamber of the Crossroads. Stay alert. Orc spies could be anywhere. An orc spy. Do not let him get away. Can't heal, sir. You have accompanied Spore on his patrol. Really? That was it? A job well done. Tell Sigdun what help you were. Let me speak with him real quick. May Durin return soon to his halls. You did well, and I am pleased that you were there with Spore when he ran into trouble. My cousin is valiant and brave, but some challenges are simply too much for a single dwarf. Thank you, my friend. Perhaps we will be ready in time after all. Excellent. Done with that. So next up, I do have to go the to... The Shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazadum. During Threshold, but I think... No, I don't think I have a milestone there. So... Yeah. 
I mean, I guess I have to. All right, let's go. It's gonna be a long journey. Alright friends, sorry for having to leave the mines again. I know I promised not to leave until the season was done, but I did put a stipulation on there that if a major quest took me outside the mines, I would have to come out to do it. And look how nice it is to see some clouds, some sky, some sunlight. Never thought such a swampy pool could look so good. Welcome to Casa Doom. So the troubles within Moria have begun already. I am not surprised that they have come, but I did not expect that they would be upon us so soon. I would have urged more caution, but I held my tongue. Ozzy and Broger are capable dwarves, and I did not wish to heed the warnings of my hurt. I approve of the decision to order an increased frequency of deliveries into Moria. I have long said that food has been too slowly sent into the mines, for any number of obstacles could besiege our supplies, within or outside of the mines. I will give you the first of this delivery. Bring it to Slothy in the Chamber of the Crossroads and tell him that more will follow. Alright. And then finally, I do have to investigate the bottom of the well here. So I do have a milestone. Let's see. There we go to the Rotting Cellar. Let's do that. Great, and again, I'm not going to start picking up quests here just yet, I just want to focus on this epic quest for now. And then I'll come back, obviously, and do the quests here in the waterworks. But then again, you get a nice little sneak peek in the area. Man, I really wish I could fix this little glitch in the water before I do this area. But I don't know how to fix it. I might dig around in the forums to see if anybody else has this issue. Because that just looks ugly. Such a great region for it to be spoiled by little glitches like that. So I'm headed all the way down there. Let's see what the best way to get there is. I guess I should use my force march, right? I mean, let's make things fast. Maybe I can climb up through here. I love the sound of the roaring falls here in the waterworks. It's very epic. Are the aqueducts pretty epic as well everything down here is epic man just no way around it that's the way it is I was trying to look up to see if I could see the the well uh, I'll just jump down here it's fine for a second there I thought I died Can't climb up here, but that's okay. You just come up the edge here. Dark 
things to our now in Moria. This is it. Do you see that hole in the cave ceiling above us? Not really. That's the bottom of the well in the chamber of the crossroads. I don't think we need to worry about orcs climbing up though. Oi, draw your weapon. Let us seek higher ground. Many foes approach. That is one slow dwarf. My goodness. Oh, there's a few lizards here. Let me blast them. Don't rest yet, friend. Here comes some more toads. I didn't even see that toad, man. Dude's drowning in there. Look out, lizards again. Toads again, get ready. Oh, I got like poisoned or something by the toads. This is getting ridiculous. Here comes a big one. Tongue lasher. No, I screwed up my game. It's it's all right. You have defended Melmar from his foes. Tell Balfi that he need not worry. This place is well protected by toads and lizards. Let me see if I can see the hole. Oh, maybe right there you can kind of get a little glimpse of it. Wow, that is far away, man. That is way far down. Alright, let me see if I can return to the 21st hall. And then I can take a swift travel pony back to the chamber of the crossroads. must fight for dwarves. All right. Welcome to Casa Doom. Ah, the first of several deliveries from Thorngear, I hope. Good, good. We won't be shut out from the outside world and caught unawares this time. We will be ready for anything. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. You say that Melmar found the bottom of the well and that he is confident that the orcs cannot climb it? That is good news. I am less worried now about its presence. We may do all right after all, my friend. Thank you for investigating this for me. Now my question is, if the well is so far down, how convenient is this? You know what I mean? Cause it's gotta go down, what, like, I don't know how many freaking meters to reach the water. But anyways, that's just me rambling. I hope we have done enough, friend. You have indeed done as I asked. Now I can but hope that it will be enough. The great delving at least is sufficiently at ready. We were fortunate that Mazog had not yet made his move. The dwarves at the Heart of Fire must prepare for an attack. My heart dares to hope that we will be prepared for the orcs when they mount their attack. There is still time in which to prepare. We must make the most of it. Travel to the Way of the Smiths among the Silvertine Loads and land, lend your aid to the dwarves working in the Heart of Fire. The hammer blow may fall hardest there. If Mazog were to learn from the importance of the forges to our continued resistance, Stothkel is in charge of the effort there. Go to him with my commendation of your merits. All right, so we will do that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Quite an epic one as we work through the epic quest, I guess. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.